There's only one thing that we can do about this. <laughs> oh, try me, bit. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Can, Can It or Not? not? Proudly presented to you by HK Capital Group. Building education cities and learning communities across Malaysia. My name is Agnes. And I'm Kelvin. Sarah. And today we are going to review hot food and desserts from Dong 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 Donkey. Dong 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 Donkey. Dong 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 Donkey. Dong 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 you got to feel for era working at the... I really admire them eh. Working 24-7, listening to that same song on repeat. Yes, I think I'll go crazy. <laughs> I, I went there for like half an hour, I couldn't take, I couldn't take it. Eh. I think it's like a form of torture eh. Yeah, <laughs> and it, you know if you think about it, it's like donkey, donkey, donkey. You know, they call you donkey, 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 donkey. donkey, donkey. <laughs> Yep, so you can see we have all these hot foods and desserts in front of us from Don Don Donkey, Malaysia, situated in Lock 10 Shopping Mall, KL. So when we step into the hot food area, right, there has so many selections that you don't know which one you should get because yeah. everything looks so attractive and delicious, yeah, right? Yeah, right? So yeah, because the price is not cheap, so here we are going to review for you, try it for you, and let you know which one to try so that you can save some money in your pocket. Yeah, right? so that you won't try Choose the wrong item and you will feel angry and sad for the entire day because you eat the wrong stuff. Yep, yeah. and you spend that money. Yep, correct. So I think without further ado, we should start now. So the first one, let's start with the snack first. We try the cheese chicken manchi katsu. So this is like a fried chicken but inside stuffed with cheese. This, at first I thought this is croquette. Yeah, it looks like croquette. croquette yeah. But actually it's chicken there. So I'm very, very excited for this. I went to Donkey Donkey Donkey. I saw Don Donkey. Uh, donkey. <laughs> donkey. Donkey. How uh, many donkeys? Don Donkey. Uh, like cheese chicken straight take two inside. That's it. That's all you need to know. I didn't even see the price. And it Easy. comes with a very very cute travel size okay, uh, sauce bottle. It's, it's so cute. Uh. I gotta take so it, man. Yeah. I can't taste the cheese. I can't taste the chicken also. It really feels like potato croquette. Yes, way. it feels more like a potato croquette rather than a chicken cheese katsu. It reminds me of murtabak ayam. <laughs> Yes, because onion. Yes. Because onion. It really, onion the, the way they put chicken is really like mutabak. Maybe it's just like those minced chicken meat instead yeah. of like the entire chicken breast, they go and deep fry it and put cheese inside. Mm. Yeah, it's not chicken breast inside. It's minced chicken meat with some onions and the missing of cheese. I don't know where the cheese go. Mm. Some time for this cheese chicken katsu. Okay? In three, two, one. I did feel up. 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 Why ah? Uh? Because I feel like the title is misleading, so no cheese, and then I can't really get that full chicken flavor, so I won't buy it. That's why I give zero. Moving on, the next one, chicken nan ban. Honestly, right, the sauce outshines the chicken. But the chicken is juicy though. Why the sauce tastes like plastic to me? Uh? But I feel it's nice, I love it. I like how the sauce pairs Yay. well with the fried chicken. And it's tender and it's juicy, the chicken essentially. So right now, come time for this chicken nan ban in three, two, one. One. A good zero. What's that, Sarah? Okay. Alright, so chicken nan ban has a total of two thumbs up. What's that, Sarah? Moving on now, main meal. Okay, so the first one we are trying. Seafood Okonomiyaki set. This one looks damn good. Uh. Looks even appealing. Uh. First time in my life trying Okonomiyaki. <laughs> Have you been to Japan I've, before? Oh, no, I've never been to Japan. Oh, my my dream destination. You my dream destination. Every time I see people eating it in a movie, in the anime, and my friends eating it, but I've never tried it before. Today, you get the Finally, yes. yes. The, the Monto Flex smell is perfume, bro. Okay, judging it based on the first time I'm trying it, because I don't have any experiences of eating it before, I would say this is really good. And $15.90, I think, is well worth the price. Mm. You get octopus, you get scallop, and then the ingredients are all substantial. They give you a lot. The sauces, and the bonito flakes and all the ingredients pair as well. You get a lot of multiple dimensions and fragrance coming through into your mouth. I've been to Osaka before. We have been to Osaka before. Not together lah. Yeah, not together lah. Uh, we've we'll we'll okay. been there before. Have you uh, tried uh, Maybe we can go together so it doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? If, yeah. uh, if sponsor, nah. sponsored by CK. <laughs> Have you tried the Okonomiyaki? Honestly, right, I've never tried the Okonomiyaki before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I tried the famous one before. So this one, right, in terms of the flavour, is quite close. And wow, really? Yeah, it's quite close, really. The Bonito Flakes really elevate the taste to another mm. level because it gives you that 
very nice umami mm. flavor to the whole thing. It's very nice, very soothing, very easy to eat as well. Mm. So right now, thumbs time for seafood okonomiyaki. Yes. Right? In three, two, mm. one. Thumbs up. Three thumbs up. Definitely recommend this to you. Confirm can eat. Confirm can eat. Exactly. Next one. Next up, we are trying something Sarah cannot eat. Beef sukiyaki don. Okay, yeah. seventeen ninety. The portion is quite big. Yeah. And the mushroom looks very nice. I'm, I'm curious what it is actually. Leek. Ah, leek. Yes. Japanese, they love yeah. to eat Parfait. leek. Parfait. 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 I don't know, like, I just felt overall the beef a bit um, dry. Eh. Oh, you felt a bit dry? Yeah, I, I think it's a bit dry, so yeah. Not as tender as I want it to be, so pair it with the rice is okay, so in my opinion, it's just an above average dish. How about you, Sarah? Yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, visually. Visually? Yeah. I will buy it. <laughs> because, you know, it looks so packed and there's beef. But you can't buy for what? I'll buy for my girlfriend. Yeah. My fiance. <laughs> <laughs> So now me and Kelvin got one and a half thumbs in three, two, one. Half. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I won't buy it uh, because what? yeah, it's below average. Yeah. So overall, half thumbs up for the sukiyaki don. Now we are trying the chicken katsu curry. This is a staple dish in all the yes. Japanese restaurants. Yes. So we must get it and try it for you guys. It smells very roti canai type of curry. Like the dough, right? Yeah. Like the dough we had. Yes. The chicken is breaded nicely. It really has that deep fried aroma come out from the chicken. Has a nice bite to it, and the curry sauce is nice. There, eh? I would say this is on par or even better than some of the Japanese restaurants out there. After you buy this, right, you also they will encourage you to reheat, and after reheating as mm. well, for it to be able to sustain the moisture in the chicken, I think it's a very well made chicken. Rice is rice, now, okay? If you put this chicken curry katsu on a plate, you plate nicely for me. I wouldn't know it's from a convenience store. Yes, okay. I I I I, I, I yes, think it's fr really from a legit restaurant like um. SZ, SK, you know? Um, something lah. Uh. Yeah, and once you reheat this, the sauce is hot and when you pair with the rice, you know, wow, it's, everything is so good. And then the chicken, like what can we say, breaded nicely. The chicken is tender, although not that thick, mm. but okay lah, you know. So, last time for this chicken curry katsu from Donomoki in 3, 2, 1. One night, one. One thumbs really up. Good. So, chicken curry katsu, three thumbs up. Confirm can eat! Make for lunch, dinner, supper, and time. Yep. Alright, after we had all the hot food, it's time for dessert. Yes. Second stomach. Cool. Alright, so first one we are going to try the mochi puff. Comes in two different flavors, matcha and hojicha. Let's go. Let's go. Not so nice or huh? It's very bad. It's very, very bad. Guys, just let me tell you because I had Mochi puff in Family Mart that was superb. So when I see this mochi puff, eleven ninety, eleven ninety, and then it's from Dong Dong Donkey. I have a high hope to on it, you know. But after I try it, the texture of the mochi just went wrong until. Oh, this is that bad way. The mochi doesn't have the mochi texture that you should be having. Guys, you just go Family Mart and try their mochi puff. You'll know how it tastes like. But this one is far off okay, yeah. compared to the she, one. You better relax before relax, you yeah. become she she mad, mad, she mad, mad, bro. She mad, bro. She For me, passion. I don't think it's not nice. I'm not in. Ice, ice, ice. <laughs> Let me ask you guys. Relax. <laughs> Let's go for thumbs down. No, Let's go. Relax. Let me ask you guys. Relaxation. Shut up. Um. <laughs> Do you guys taste any difference to the hojicha and matcha? Uh, not really. Lah. Not really. Also, oh, right. Now that she mentioned it, uh, relax. Thumbs relax. time for the monkey mochi puff, matcha and hojicha flavor. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bruh. Zero. I, I go a zero, so that <laughs> relax. So in conclusion, the mochi puff has a total of negative, negative one thumbs up. Negative, negative two. two thumbs up. Okay, okay. Moving on, the next one we are trying Dango Goma. Actually, our phone got this emoji one. Eh? You know? ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like a skewer like that. Yeah, with three different oh, colors. Uh, okay. Dango. Okay. I think the Dango itself is salty a bit, and then they just smother with different kind of sauces on top. Overall, it's, it's, it's a good Dango. It's a good Dango. The texture is good. The texture is on point. The sauce is nice though. You get that roaster flavor in it. Very nice and chewy, man. Yeah, I love the, it. The, the texture is very mm. good. Thumbs time for. Dango Goma Goma in 3, 2, 1 uh, 1 Thumbs up 
So Dango Goma has a total of two and a half thumbs up. Pretty good. Even though it's eleven ninety, but this is definitely something I'll see myself buying maybe once a month if I'm there. And it's definitely way better than the mochi puff just now. Definitely. Definitely. Relax. Okay, the next one we are trying. Ah, another puff. Mix Daifuku. Daifuku is very. Fuck you. Okay, so this one comes in three different flavors. We have matcha, chocolate, and strawberry. So daifuku is also one of the staple dessert in Japan. You can see sometimes they elevate it with like a strawberry on top, and if they put the white strawberry, yeah, it's more even expensive. Wow, it it wow! I can smell strawberry from here. It's so strong. Thank God, man, durian. It reminds me of that strawberry flavored bubble gum I always buy. But in terms of the texture of the mochi. Wow, very nice. It's really good. For the texture of the mochi, right? Some is like very chewy, like you can really pull it once. But this one, this is not. This is straight away you bite it, it just break off. Yeah. And then it has a very nice firm back to it. The outside texture, but the inside, the ingredient inside is filled to the brim. The chocolate flavor that I have tasted is really like those rich dark chocolate. Wow. A bit of bitterness also inside. Wow. Very very good. That's very good. Very very good. I love it. This is the best one so far. And then not too sweet also, so I think it's quite good. Thumbs time for Dai Fuku. Three, two, one. One half up. Because for me, I personally prefer the Dai Fuku with the more chewy texture. But but the feeling is not bad. So Dai Fuku from Don Donki has a total of two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay, for the next one, we are trying the milk crepe crepe cake. Okay, so the one we are buying is tiramisu and original. Let's give it a go. Actually, I feel like all crepe cake tastes the same one up. No, for me lah. But this one, right? A downside, a bit too overly sweet. The sweetness, right, is like really from like sugar kind of sweetness, like the artificial sweetness that I don't really like it. I think the texture is the downside because I think the layer is not too much. Usually, a good crepe cake, right, there should really be a lot of layer, evenly distributed with a thin layer of the crepe and then a sufficient layer of the crepe. Crepe. And then you can see, right, the back of the crepe cake actually nothing. It's all just ah yeah 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 yeah. It's a creep. It's a creep. Yeah, so it doesn't really spread nicely to the whole cake. I didn't get the layering. That one feels like whipped cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not very whipped cream. It's not the premium. Yes. For me, I felt tiramisu nicer than original. Yeah, definitely. But this is the better tiramisu, nevertheless. Hmm. And and the bottom sponge cake is not moist. It's quite dry. Yeah. Yeah. So. So they be dissing at it for one minute. Hey, take our critique serious. Yes. And eat a knot. Yes. And this one, tapli makan. Okay. Top time for the original and tiramisu crepe cake in three, two, one. Zero. Zero. So it has zero thumbs up. At least not negative. Okay, so finally we have come to the end of this Don Don Donkey episode. Right now it's favorite time and least favorite time. Okay, so for my favorite, I really enjoy the chicken katsu don. Curry, curry. Chicken curry don. Sorry. I think for the price of fifteen ninety, it will not disappoint you. It has all the flavors that you need from each component, and it's full and it's very filling as well. If you finish everything. For my favorite dessert, right? I really enjoyed the. Dango goma. So for my most favorite hot food goes to the chicken katsu curry and also the seafood okonomiyaki. And for my favorite dessert, I think will goes to this dango goma. I think the texture is they nail it, and then the roasted black sesame because I personally love black sesame desserts. So this one I like it. My favorite hot food same as Agnes. Goes to the seafood okonomiyaki and also the chicken katsu curry don. It really makes me go kimochi. Like I feel like I don't want to yamate. So moving on, my favorite dessert goes to the daifuku chocolato. That was really good. I think if I taste the chocolate one, I also love it. Yeah, chocolato. You know, right now is the least favorite time for me. The first one is the chicken manchi cheese katsu. The first item that we have. Oh, the murtaba ayam. The murtaba ayam. That one I won't foresee myself buying it. And the dessert, I will pass the stage to Agnes. No, you never say. You say what dessert you don't like, lah. Same as Angus one. Oh, okay, okay. Same dish. Okay, so my least favorite hot food, unfortunately, goes to the beef yakiniku don because I felt overall the texture and the taste just a bit lackluster. Right now, dessert, dessert. Angus, least favorite dessert. I give you thirty seconds or one minute. You can rant about it. What the hell is the mochi puff? Ah, hello. What kind of texture is that? I think you can throw all your mochi puff, lah. Okay, I'm done with all your mochi puff, guys. 
Just omit the mochi pop. It's done. I never seen Anna so mad before. Uh, after playing you know, for like thirty plus. Whenever we do recording, right? Me and Kevin we always play around and do whatever nonsense lah. I kind of feel like every time Agnes is like kind of angry or annoyed, but I think she is not angry. Now she's mad. <laughs> 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 yeah. You think that sometimes Agnes like, do she feel like both of us? Yeah. But but right now no. Now no. This mochi puff is even more annoying than us. I tell you. Oh, my least favorite hot food will be the mutaba ayam. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. Yeah. Yeah. Because bro, mutaba ayam. Bro, don't don't eat bro. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure the three of us had fun, especially on the mochi puff. Yeah, we all felt very, very good. And right now is the end, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well as our Can Eat or Not Dog and My Personal Instagram page. Okay, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next week. See you guys next week. Yeah, much love, mochi puff. <laughs> <laughs>